All right, I'm here in the sauna now, here in the new Evolve EHS, and we're just about to get underway doing some of the testing. We're going to be testing for the EF electric fields with our electric field meter. We're going to do some testing for the EMF magnetic fields with our uh, tri-axis gauss meter. You might notice I have little probes just on top of the meters. Um, I try to do the testing as accurately and consistently as possible. So I mount a little one inch long probe on each of the meters. One inch is about as close as your body would ever get to the heaters in our saunas. One inch is the distance just from the front surface of the heater guard to the actual surface of the carbon panel heater. Okay, I now have our Gauss meter in hand. This is the 10 Mars uh, EMF magnetic field meter. It's a tri-axle meter, which is certainly the most convenient and easiest way to measure magnetic fields. It does all the calculations for you of the three different axes uh, which are required to get an accurate reading. Um, taking a baseline reading here in the middle of the sauna, the heaters are currently off. As you can see on our control panel, there's no display. And We've got a baseline here in the sauna with the heaters off of around, I think we could say about 0.5. Let's say 0.5 milligauss is our baseline. We'll turn the heaters on. And you can now see that the heaters have been turned on. We've got the display on the control panel. Let's do some spot testing. We'll come over here to the sidewall heater and just in the center of the sidewall heater, measuring 0.6. If we subtract our baseline of 0.5, we've got about 0.15 milligauss there. Coming down to the center, that's pretty close just to our baseline. We've done several other uh, videos testing the EMF magnetic fields with the Gauss meter, so I won't be um, extensive here with the testing. We'll just get several quick spot tests for you. That's just above our baseline. So essentially zero EMF here. Here in the center of the back wall heater. You know, jumping up to 0.7 there. very very low a lot of people uh, refer to their two standards such as two or three milligauss and our sunstream sauna heaters are certainly far below that we advertise an average of less than one milligauss over the heater surface and as you can see with these readings that that's certainly the case we do have a little blip of magnetic field uh, on the heaters. On the back side of the heaters, there's a little high limit cutoff temperature sensor. Uh, it's a safety device, something that we're required to install on the heaters. We can't shield it entirely. And down in the bottom corner of the heater, you will get a little blip of magnetic field but it's very isolated. That's a very small zone in the bottom corner of the heater. And then just moving away a few inches, you can see we drop right down again. That's our three wall heaters. Uh, let's just have a quick look at the door heater. And we'll do three spot measurements. If you move the meter quickly, uh, you will get a jump in the reading, so you need to let it stabilize. There's one reading. Here's another reading, practically in the center of the heater. And we'll go the full height of the heater, come down to the bottom center. So subtracting our baseline, we're really just at about 0.2 milligauss. Very low readings, EMF magnetic fields. I'm gonna switch over to the electric field meter. We'll carry on. 
Okay, we switched over to our electric field meter and today I'm using our Gigahertz Solutions made in Germany uh, electric field meter. Couple quick notes regarding measuring electric fields. Uh, apparently, according to the manual for the meter, to get the most consistent and reliable results, you do want to have the meter grounded. So this wire here is running from the meter and it's running out to a wall receptacle. Uh, so it's connected to the ground system of this building. Our little probe is mounted on the front of the meter. It's one inch long. We'll just confirm that indeed the sauna is on. All the heaters are on. Even with the door open, I've got 44 degrees Celsius inside the sauna. All the heaters are on, I can assure you. And let's do some spot testing. We're just down here in the center, center bottom of the sidewall heater, measuring zero or one volt per meter. Let's come up and do another spot test on this same heater. We'll come up to the center top of the heater try to keep the meter in view for you. Here we are at one. Look at the center of the heater. One volt per meter. Zero volts per meter. Let's have a look at the back wall. I'll just do about four spot tests here on the back wall. In the top left hand corner, one volt per meter. Moving to the center. One volt per meter, two volts per meter. Here's the top right hand corner. One volt per meter. Uh, just coming down towards the bottom right. Zero, zero volts per meter. Here's the center of the back wall heater. Zero volts per meter. Uh, let's have a quick look at the other sidewall heater. I'll just do two spot tests. Another zero reading. Another spot test. I'll come down to the center bottom. Zero volts per meter. Let's have a quick look at the door heater. We'll just come here to the center. There's two volts per meter. I'll do another spot test here towards the bottom. One inch away, two volts per meter. Now people always talk about, are your heaters low in EMF magnetic fields or EF electric fields? Of course, it's also all the wiring and in particular the connectors. Uh, that are involved in the system. We have a little connector, uh, makes it convenient to remove the heaters. There's a little snap together connector on the back side of our heaters. It's not likely you'll have to remove a heater, but it's easy to do so if you need to. You will get a little blip of electric field there. It's just two, let me see. We'll look down here, just full four volts per meter. It's difficult for us to guarantee a number for the electric fields. Um, you know, it will be very dependent on the quality of meter you might be using if you're doing your own testing. Again, it could be dependent on the ground system of the building where you have the sauna installed. Standards for electric fields that have been published range tremendously. Uh, several of them suggest between four and 5,000 volts per meter are safe limits. Although I have seen some from other organizations um, as low as 10 volts per meter. In any event, in the infrared sauna industry, the Evolve EHS, um, I believe, has the lowest electric field readings currently available. And again, we're doing this without any blocking fabrics or meshes. So there's no reduction in the infrared heat. So here's our last measurement. We're just at the bottom center of the right uh, sidewall heater. And we're measuring zero volts per meter. Thanks for tuning into the video. Hope all the testing has been of interest to you. A 
Of course, feel free to contact me anytime. It's Kevin with Sunstream Saunas. I look forward to answering all of your infrared sauna questions and telling you more about our new Evolve EHS.